Alright everybody, welcome back to Let's Get On With It, the Urquand Masters. And boy, those sandwiches were delicious! I didn't save any for you, though. <laughs> I know, I'm mean, but hey. I hadn't eaten all day. And you guys watching my videos, you can eat whenever you want. But no, not to me, so... <laughs> I'm in an exceptionally great mood, and uh, I decided to prolong the session a bit. So, last video, uh, I was looking for, I guess, two planets in the Volpecule system, and we found both of them. Um, excuse me. There was the planet, uh, I think, in Delta Volpecule, which contained um, an object of Talo design, and there was the Androsynth homeworld here in Eta Volpecule. Planet which we've learned lots of things that we kind of wish we hadn't learned, and it kind of correlates back to the um, Aralu warning us about uh, not needing to know too much, especially regarding um, DF, as the Androsynth put it. Um, apparently knowing too much about them or they, or things beyond our own universe leads to opening some sort of Ah, uh, rift or portal, we cannot begin to explain where we could become seen by beings known as they, or them, which the ors might very well be, and as a matter of fact, I, uh, this is from, uh, a chat later on with the developers where it was confirmed that, yeah, the ores are extensions of they. And, um, the Androsynth have gone poof! Now, again, as I said in the last video, it's hard for me to remember. I was distracted by sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> um, whether all the Androsynth are gone, that that was left hanging as a potential, uh, Star Control 3, um, you know, segue, um, but Toys for Bob never ended up designing. But, for the most part, the Androsynth are no more. They have ceased to be. However, you can still see their ships in the Super Melee. Cool, huh? Okay, so let us continue. I think we're going to go head back to Seoul. I am not entirely sure, though. Maybe we can visit some other people. Hmm. I mean, I don't exactly have a full cargo hold, so... Ho-hum. Let's go ahead and leave this place, though, and we'll think about it. We'll dwell on it some. How far back is it to Seoul? Seoul is... 21.5 fuel units away, and oh yeah, the Kunk Spear is definitely moving. Now, who else could we encounter? There's Alpha Cherenkov. Hey, that's pretty close by. Uh, I'm curious about something else, though. And uh, if you'll play along with me here, don't mind me. Where exactly is the Delta? Or no star system. It should be down here somewhere, right? That's Capella. Serimp Serpentus? That's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. I think I'm looking too far over here. I think I need to look uh, over here? Let me check. Yep. Sure is. I'll tell you what. We will take the hyperspace portal and travel over here, then hook back up to Sol, I guess. Hmm. We get to listen to the cool hyperspace music while I think about this. I should have thought about this more, huh, folks? Sorry about that. I am, uh... 
thinking about things, and I was also checking out my little spiffy, uh, my little note sheet here that's, uh, got some, uh, uh, quasi-space wormholes on it. Thinking of how I get this work, I guess I could, uh, spend my time traveling through space. Okay, let's take the portal back here to Sol. Then we hook down to Delta Gorno, and then we'll shoot over to Vux Space. Alright, alright. Manifest. Devices. Uh, quasi portal. Hooray. Uh, where are you at? Right. We're looking for 506474. Right, 506, 474, and then we'll hook up into Seoul, as the Kung Sphere just raffles along. <laughs> Stomach, you are not growling right now. We already consumed food. Shh, I'm recording videos for the internet. No talking. Starbase Commander, here I come to save the day. Hurt! Oh god! <laughs> this is Venus! I went to the wrong planet! Damn it! Let's try this again. Earth! There we go. And Starbase Commander. Go ahead and save the game here. Who knows whenever bad things could happen? Then we would be all frumple. Captain, I'm glad you made it back in one piece. I have some information I think you should hear. We have been invaded by an alien race calling themselves the Oars, though so far the invasion is a friendly one. The fish-like creatures have been stomping around the base in their robotic walking exoskeletons, which look like combat vac suits, if you ask me. Based on the summary reports I've seen on their nemesis ship design, I have but a single comment. I like it. I'd say we have quite a nasty little surprise in store for the Urquan the next time you tangle with them. Also, we're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfat homeworld at Alpha Tukane. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help, black destroyer, planet under attack, help, worse than Zebranki, whatever that means, and finally, help. Well, looks like my plans have changed. This is a timed mission, so we don't have time to fuck around here. Also, give me your resource units. You can keep this up. We'll turn that flagship of yours into a genuine <laughs> dreadnought killer. Of course. Can your scientists analyze what I've acquired since my the last visit? Analysis reads as follows: Subject to Alo device. Data: Whoever the Alo were, they were clever. Way past us, probably even beyond the Shen Jesu. As far as I can tell, with all our equipment, this thing is a rock. Just a rock. Nothing but a rock. However, if you feed a current into it, anywhere along its surface, everyone on board this star base who has Esper potential gets a bad headache. Well, we checked a bit more into that, and when the Taelo thing is active, all evidence of Psycon interaction is flatlined. Nothing gets through. Summary. If you keep this to Alo rock device thing on board your vessel, I'll bet you're immune to any form of psychic attack, or at least mostly immune. That's the end of our scientist report. Spoiler: the Alo re device is required to win the game. Goodbye, Captain. Excuse me. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop into the shipyard here. We got a lot of ships that we haven't quite gotten around to using. And I think I'm actually gonna get rid of some of them. That Zokfot pick stinger, you know, I just had that for kicks and giggles. Let's go ahead and dismiss it. And also, the Earthling cruiser, those can stay at all. But we're definitely keeping Quiffo, and we're keeping the Pekunk Fury, and we're also keeping the Aralu Skiff. Okay? Okay. I was really hoping those ships would realign themselves, however, it appears that will not be the case. 
For kicks and giggles, though, <laughs> yeah, you can also see how expensive the Ors Nemesis is, by the way. We can go ahead and get one of those. Why not? Although I might change my mind at the pens. Because we've got to go outfit our starship, folks. Let's go ahead and stock up on fuel. Fuelsies. Remove a few modules. Like you, you, and you. We'll go ahead and remove the dynamo units too. And in fact, I will keep the tracking systems there. Let's see what I can do. So, we could get an ion bolt gun, kit gun a fusion blaster, or a hellbore cannon. Let's go ahead and get some of these. Hellbore cannons! You called down the thunder. Now reap the whirlwind. Clear launch detected. Now... Unfortunately, I think I might actually get rid of one of my crew bots. I... I don't know. Because I want to get rid of... One of those storage bays, since I only need to carry around really important things now. Let's go ahead and mix it up here. Let's go ahead and get two Shiva furnaces and two dynamo units. That should do reasonably well, job. Okay. Although I do forget exactly how they work. I need to look that up. Uh, I know it's it's good to have a mixture of both. I think like the Shiva furnaces they're only like effective like a maximum of three. Or maybe it's the dynamos who are only effective to like a maximum of three. Four point eight. Okay, it's the dynamos that are effective to a maximum of three. Okay. Shiva furnaces though you can keep just putting on the on the uh, ship things. And they're different in how they upgrade energy, so yeah. Don't invest entirely in one. So I cut down on the storage bay, but we're only looking for the most valuable minerals now, so it's okay. But I want my ship to be an absolute beast in combat. Here we go. Yeah. And we'll keep along. Yeah, but we have an ore ship along for the funsies. Let's go ahead and depart and change the plans, folks. We will not be visiting Delta Gorno just yet. Instead, I'll be tripping the portal spawner, and we will be heading up north to save the Zot, Zot, Bink. Manifest, Devices, Quasi-Portal. Alright, which one do I need? Ah, uh, that will work. I'm not saying that I'm going to end up using the most efficient ones, I'm just looking for ones that'll get me closer to where I am. Let's see... 502... 460... Let's go to this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This should take me to where I... closer to where I need to be. You got three months to do this. I think it's three months from whenever you get the message from the starship captain, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's go visit Alpha Tukane, folks. I hope you're excited. Here comes the Black Spheres again. Playing around in this area is very dangerous, and as a matter of fact, looks like we have ourselves an encounter here. Meeting the black ships for the first time. We are the Urquan Core R. We cleanse our destiny. You will soon die. Make whatever rituals are necessary for your species. If you attack us, we will destroy you. Don't even try it. Hold! What you are doing to us is wrong! Why do you do this thing? What are you hanging over? Please don't destroy this ship, we mean you no harm. I've heard enough of your madness for now. Goodbye. Well, let's forget what this Bothy said to us for the time being and ask, What are you hanging over? My trophy bone 
bit. In here is one skeleton from each of the races, which I personally exterminated. I fondle these bones and recall a fine cleansing. Perhaps your bones will grace this bit momentarily, unless they are accidentally vaporized. How splendid. Okay, time for you all to see the Korra in action. And their ships, I do believe, are more dangerous than the, um, the regular Urquan vessels, um, the Dreadnoughts. Which you had the pleasure of seeing in action. Uh, these Korra ships are faster. Their primary attack is a spinning blade that does have homing capabilities. And their secondary attack, which consumes a lot of their battery power, um, is like a gigantic pulse wave. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fight here with my flagship again. I could fight with Whiffo. Um, and I do think I could take out, I think there's only two, I think I could take them out fine. And I have some other folks here. I have Camper, Jay, and Louie Fui. But uh, I'm going to be quiet here because I want to focus. But that's why I explained uh, the Core All's battle capabilities. So, don't mind me. Now, you see what I mean here about the both the blades and the fact that the Korra do a pretty good job of keeping up with you. However, I've kind of upgraded my energy capabilities on my ship, and these Hellbore cannons are, shall we say, powerful? Unfortunately, my homing technology... Well, my tracking technology only works so well. But I think I did much better than I would have with Fwifo. Oh. Yeah, so we can actually handle combat in these situations now. Alright, let's continue. Alpha Tugane, we are going to get into another fight. We might actually get, like, stun-locked into fights here. So I hope you're prepared for this excitement. Woo hoo hoo! Save the fucking game. Alright. Thinking about making this like a freaking backup slot. No, no. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of battle this time. And this will be our official meeting with the Urquan outside of their drone and the dreadnought that enslaved our home world. What? A human in a precursor service vehicle. How did you escape the slave shield, human? Or are you a rogue? Why do you wish to enslave us? Although you consider us the enemy, these conclusions are flawed. We are your salvation. We bring you peace. A peace built upon our social framework, imposed upon your planet. A new world order in which your prosperity and security are assured by the Urquan. We will protect you from the hazards of this hostile universe, from danger so hideous your simple minds cannot imagine their dark scope. Today, we are the enemy. In time, this will change. Soon, you will come to understand the boon of slavery we force upon you, and then you will reveal and even love us for this gift. Note that the Urquan and Korra look very similar. Also note that the Urquan are adamant believers in the fact that their way is the right way and that I'm going to die for uh, disobeying the human slave laws. I'm excited. Three Urquan dreadnoughts, here we go. Okay. Like I've said before, I would rather face the Urquan than the Korra. Also, I I think one of their fighters actually got a hold on me. 
I also think that I got too close to the Urquan here. And you can see the danger of the Dreadnought. Again, I was thinking about what I wanted to say to all of you, instead of being an intelligent pilot. Much to my eternal dismay. Oh, so close! Crap! Got too close! Too close! <sighs> I just gotta get used to the combat system still. It's okay, I'll get better. But by, by the end of the series, I will be a magnificent player at this game. Okay. Yes! Hellbore cannons have a good amount of reach. <laughs> That's allowing me to pull stunts like I'm pulling. <sighs> Suck it down! We lost some crew, but hey. Leveled three Urquan Dreadnoughts. I think that's a good trade. I think that's a good trade. However, run away! <laughs> Ooh. Getting out of the system is gonna be problematic, though. We're gonna have to do a lot of fighting. Alright, Zog fought pick. As soon as I get to your planet, we'll see what's up. What's up, guys? Hello? Yep. Turns out that a, uh, Korra ship located the Zokfot pick. We are the Urquan Korra. Your presence here is premature. We fight the Kazerza for supremacy of doctrine and possession of the Sarmatra. When the battle is won, our task is simple. We cleanse. You are the filth. Now, it appears they look so similar to the green Urquan because they are Urquan. The subspecies of Korra. And the green ones that we know you uh, they are the subspecies Kazurza. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call the green ones Urquan and these guys Korra. <laughs> you sure are creepy. Seeing that I represent your imminent death, as well as the termination of your entire species, I think your fear is well justified. Nonetheless, you require cleansing. What a friendly guy. Absolutely friendly. Okay. Bring it on, blade-wielding douche. Those blades can go so far, too. And again, I prove my ineptitude in driving the ship. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Complete failure. One of these days, I will get better at piloting, folks. But that day need not be today. <laughs> our savior, our savior, you have rescued us from certain destruction. Howie, baby, that was a close one. The black ship appeared in orbit several days ago and began raining down bolts of destructive energy on the surface of our planet. Fortunately, we were able to focus our planetary shield to deflect the energy blasts away from our cities. Unfortunately, large sections of our planet's beautiful wilderness have been annihilated. Entire ecosystems destroyed. Oh! That makes me really mad. I mean, attacking helpless, intelligent alien species, that's one thing. But toasting our cute little wood jukes and tree narves, that is really low. If the black ship had been accompanied by others of its kind, we wouldn't have been able to stop the reign of destruction. They would have killed us all. Well, in that case, better those jukes and narks than us, right? Captain, it is clear that in matters of war, you are more capable than ourselves. With this in mind, we would like to give you our four finest starships and crew. I hope they bring you many victories. Try not to lose them all right away. <coughs> Although this may not pertain to the Earth one, we have received an interesting report I, I, from um... Deep Space Scout. She found a strange Sorry, I'm just going to let them talk. in the surface of an alien planet. Although she and her crew spent many days trying to open the door, they failed utterly to so much as budget. The reported location of this alien artifact is Epsilon Camilla Partilis 1A. Go open it. I bet there's something cool inside. 
to try and invent some Although this may not pertain to the Earth one, we have received an interest from one of our... She found it embedded in the surface? Although she finds it, they failed. The reported location of this alien artifact is Epsilon Camilla Particles 1A. Go open it. I bet there's something cool inside. Is Epsilon Camilla Particles 1A. Go open it. I bet there's something cool inside. Is Epsilon Camilla Particles. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I got that right. Anyway. Uh, damn it, I already lost my train of thought. Okay, yeah. If you arrive too late, the Zock Fod Pick are completely destroyed, and I had not known that I would be receiving four star shit from these guys. So it's a really good thing that I cleared room to have all four. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have lost that opportunity. Any news about the war between the two alien races? No, we have not. No. Okay. Bye, Zock. Bye, Fod. Bye, Pig. Bye, Captain. See ya. I saved you. Oh, boy. Well, good news is that I saved the Zock Fod Pig from an untimely demise, meaning I would have no longer been able to have their help because they had no longer been in the Alliance. Bad news, I'm kind of trapped in the system. And I'm gonna have to fight my way out, so it's a good thing that they gave me all these, this, uh, all these ships to replenish my crew. Because since I've proven to be such a horrible pilot, I'm gonna need some help. Kung Fury, you go ahead and give me your crew as well, and our loose skiff, you too. So we'll just have the, uh, the Spothy Eluder and the uh, assistance of the oars vessel if necessary. Alright. Bring it on, Urquan. And Korra. The video's end. Maybe I actually won't suck at combat. Let's do this. I guess I did have a window for escaping. Huh. Well, so much for that. It's now gone. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this probe is not hostile. Do not attack. We too come in peace. Please believe us. This is probe 2418-B. We seek to make friendly contact. I'm sure you do. Priority override. override. <laughs> New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Good luck. Good luck. Come on. Oh, you broke me into component materials. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> See, such a big deal is made about, you know, resisting those guys at the beginning. Not so much now. Come on. Who's next? Cracking the knuckles here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh boy, this is definitely going in another save slot. Human, you have ignored our commands, and now you will be punished. You didn't answer my question. What's your problem? You have intruded upon the battleground of our doctrinal conflict with the Korah. This is not tolerable. We must maintain our concentration on this war. We must win. Should we lose, the consequences to you and all of us sentient life in this part of the galaxy would be very grave. Since you have refused to depart willingly, it appears that we must eliminate you ourselves. I don't think they, they would have just given me a free pass had I had tried to leave. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway. Looks like I'm about to fuck up this doctrinal conflict. Launch, 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 fighters. Launch, 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 fighters. Notice that that takes some of their crew to uh, do, by the way. Launching fighters. Shit! 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 I need a fucking rear cannon. That's what I need. Okay, he's reverse direction. Very crafty you are, Urquan. 
Nice. Yes. Quickly restore battery. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? It's not even fair. Oh yeah, have fun dodging all that whenever it's right in your face. I'm totally reloading that. Screw you, game. Screw you. It's like lightning. They can spawn anywhere on the map. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Flagship is toast. Hey. <laughs> I tell you how much I've come to hate you humans since I began to live. Are you kidding me, game? Alright, maybe you could be less screw to me this time. Definitely an argument for for using a quicker ship here. Also, I hate this angle, because I fear that I might drive into the frickin' planet. Okay. Game? Alright, that's not so bad. Not so bad. As we dance around multiple times. Oh, hey! That's where those are. You can return back to your ship now. Oof. Good thing those things can't reach as far as the blades can. On the frustrating side, they are more damaging and dangerous than the blades are. Okay. Number three. Uh, turn around! <laughs> nice! Hellbore cannons, by the way? Totally worth it, everyone. So you all know. And the auto tracking systems? Definitely worth it, too. How I screwed over the doctrinal conflict. Thus dooming the entire galaxy. No, oh, no! <laughs> Sweet. Use the gravity well there. I actually don't suck. Yes! Alright, I sustained a hit. Look at that. Cha-ching! Screw planetary exploration, right, everybody? Yeah. About that. <laughs> You notice the enclosing doom? Oh boy. We of the Urquan Corps are. You have evaded our attempts to cleanse. You are no longer filth. You are a threat. Threats deserve greater attention than filth. Stop that gross blinking. The time has come. <laughs> you require cleansing. Okay, that's cool. Everything you ever wanted to know about combat in Star Control 2 and more. Oh, crap. Stupid blade. I did manage to juke the planet, though. I am proud of myself for doing that. I'm not gonna lie, uh, as, da as more dangerous as I think these ships are, uh, the Koras for smaller vessels, I drove into that blade. If you spawn, like, right next to that Urquan Dreadnought, and you're right in front of it, that's something else altogether. Screw that. That way leads to death. <laughs> Woohoo! Nearly hit the planet. I wish I had, like, a navigational warning telling me, Hey, you're about to run into the planet, dumb nuts. That would really be useful. <sighs> not bad, Grimoth, not bad. Could have done better, of course, but not bad all the same. <sighs> okay. Okay. The death. 
the, the death is coming. <laughs> Make no mistake, the death is coming. So, I think I'm gonna escape from this situation. <laughs> gonna use the portal spawner and abort out of here before I am just dragged into battle after battle, or I don't know! Might go to get around to visiting the Shofixti, though. This could be fun. Could be lots of fun. Constant battling with the Urquan. Who will win? Answer, not me. See you all next time.